As another wave of COVID-19 sweeps across Europe, one country after another is introducing new restrictions on the unvaccinated. And perhaps the most decisive step, Austria is set to impose a new lockdown on the unvaccinated only. According to Johns Hopkins University, just over 64% of the population is fully vaccinated, one of the lowest rates in the European Union. Austrian lawmakers will decide on Sunday whether to order vaccine holdouts to stay home, except for work and the essentials. The government has already banned those without their shots from activities such as dining out and going to the hairdresser. In the Netherlands, non-essential retailers will close early as restrictions the Dutch thought were gone for good returned Saturday for three weeks. Ik denk dat alle kleine beetjes helpen. Like this woman, many blame the unvaccinated for a spike in cases. Records for daily infections have been shattered in recent days in neighboring Germany. This Munich intensive care unit is nearing collapse. We are, uh, laufen voll. The number of coronavirus patients has doubled in the past two weeks, says this doctor. <laughs> Under new rules coming into effect Monday in the capital Berlin, a negative test will no longer get you through the door of restaurants, theaters and other entertainment venues. Strict vaccine mandates, of course, are not limited to Europe. In Melbourne, Australia, several thousand people rallied Saturday against the Victorian government's proposed new laws for dealing with pandemics. The bill imposes no limit on lockdowns. It's tyranny. That's what it is, absolute tyranny. According to the World Health Organization's latest weekly COVID-19 report, Europe was the only region in the world that saw an increase in new cases, while other regions reported declines or stable trends. Europe also reported a 10% increase in new deaths. Karen Siolin, City News.